So it's Monday morning and I've uh, got to start my first day of work here at the Cloud Forest Conservation Center. And uh, my assignment today is to um, basically observe the crew that are currently given the job of fixing something that had been done earlier. Rob wants to install a micro hydro power generating plant which has the advantage of generating electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Much better than solar and, and much better than any other source of power. So they've created a reservoir and a catchment area and now they need to create a concrete structure to hold back the water and to install the uh, generator that he's acquired. <coughs> These guys are coming up with 100 pound, 100 pound bags of cement and they might weigh 130 pounds for themselves. Five foot three, five foot four, looks like they're tough as nails. Chair one has arrived and they have 30 students here today that are studying Bird Sleuth curriculum. It's an environmental it's education speed. curriculum from they Cornell University that we teach speed. here in the schools and we teach at our center. Okay. They're also studying agroecology. So while they learn the ecology of the forest, they also learn human ecology and how we can live in and on the edge of the forest and still live well, but in a, a manner that's much more ecological and environmentally conscious. Okay. So that's what the children are studying today. Two mothers have come to accompany them for the for their four day study here. It's like a science camp. Right. They come on Monday and they go on Thursday. And Elvira and Olivia are two of our teachers. They will okay. be accompanying them this week. And who are you? Oh, I'm Tara Cahill. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> wife, wife to Rob Cahill and uh, the co-leader of this uh, wonderful organization. And here you see some action of, I think, regular activities here around uh, the center. Every Monday we yeah. have a, a one to three schools coming, depending on how big the school is. Yeah. Up to 40 children come in each Monday and stay for four-day science and environmental, environmental education and agroecology camp. Thank you very much. So I thought I'd film an end of day segment for first day of work. Uh, Monday started off working up high uh, on some uh, mini hydro installation that uh, I'll show you some pictures of today and uh, mucked around there with with a bunch of the guys had a big crew going and then got drafted into doing some electrical work uh, wiring this big building behind me using a 12 volt system and solar panels and the batteries that we're uh, bringing up and that's all that stuff just expanding to the number of uh, bulbs that can be available to uh, occupants. Now that the solar system is a bit bigger, uh, there's room to room to expand. And that's kind of how we ended the day. We uh, 
worked pretty hard. It's now 6 p.m. Uh, I'm kind of tired. My feet are sore. And I'm going to just relax, have a cup of coffee. And supper is going to be at 7. And I think uh, we're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching.